Okay, Amber, this is your last chance to back out of admitting this on camera. Oh, God. I guess we're just gonna do it. Ugh. <gasps> what is up, you guys? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Girl's Guide to Life, a real series about real stuff. So today, obviously, we're talking about sugar daddies. This is literally probably the most Googled question about me. Um, aside of who the hell is Amber Scholl, the second most Googled question is does Amber Scholl have a sugar daddy? It's probably like mostly 99% my own fault for constantly spoofing it. So of course, like any good YouTuber, I decided to make a video about it. So, a uh, really honest, probably too honest video about my sugar daddy. So as with all great confessional stories, we need to start from the beginning because every hero has an origin story. So, the beginning. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there was a young maiden who was broke as fuck. <laughs> Me. You guys know it's not a secret. I'm literally known for broke bitch tips and that is because back in the day, four years ago, I had literally probably $42, maybe max to my name. By the way, when I say broke, I'm not like, oh, haha, ha, you know, I can't afford to go on vacation this month. It was like, I don't have money to do um, anything. This meme, me. I literally returned a box of cereal once. That should tell you something. It was also half eaten. <laughs> Point is, a bitch was struggling. So needless to say, I did a lot of really weird stuff to make money. And when you're a young girl in LA, luckily there's lots of weird ways to make money. And let me tell you, I did all of them weren't that odd you know like I used to host us at restaurants I used to be in music videos on the side for my life cannot find these pictures but I actually presented awards at like a marijuana festival once I've literally never smoked in my life so yeah that was an interesting gig um anyone can find the photos of that let me know I drove full-time for Postmates for like almost two years so that was like my main gig I also used to do something called atmosphere modeling which was super weird it was like sometimes you would go to people's houses at like two in the morning and just like sit there for like hours being guests at the party, very bizarre. But yeah, you would get cash for that. I don't know what that was. It doesn't exist anymore, probably because it was really weird. But yeah, that's another weird thing I used to do. <laughs> Am I really just gonna admit all this weird stuff that I did on camera? I guess, please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Point is, I had a really interesting time before YouTube. <laughs> Honestly, in the beginning, I had a great time doing all of those things, but yeah, those got old really fast. By the way, I would get paid like $50 for 12 hours to do that sort of thing. So yeah, I wasn't exactly like making it rain. It was like one little tiny drizzle every seven months. It was basically just a drought. <laughs> so obviously you have to come up with a little bit more creative ways to make ends meet. <laughs> Confession time. Okay, um, yeah, just like every girl in the world, I think I did used to definitely go on Tinder dates for free dinner. <laughs> Um, granted, you know, I was trying to find a boyfriend too, but also, you know, it's a great way to feed yourself is to go on dates five nights a week. <sighs> so yeah, you know, having a sugar daddy sounded like a pretty good idea and uh, not gonna lie, I definitely considered it. One time when I was delivering for Postmates, a guy that I delivered something to noticed my phone screen was like completely shattered because I dropped it a few days earlier and like obviously didn't have the money to like fix it. So when I was delivering it to him, he was like, oh my God, do you need a new phone? In lieu of a tip, I'll fix your phone for you. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. Like that is so nice of you to offer for nothing in return. So, you know, I gave him my number and yeah, you can guess how that worked out. I didn't get a new phone and he ended up being really creepy. So <laughs> I used to also get paid to go to clubs. I forgot about that. So sometimes I would literally like get up at 6 a.m., work background all day, drive for Postmates after that, go atmosphere model at the clubs till like 4 a.m. and then do it all again the next day. Let me tell you, that is beyond exhausting, very unhealthy, and also I somehow still had no money. <laughs> And you know, while at the time that work ethic wasn't paying off at all, that is one of the most valuable things that I ever learned in my life. That work ethic honestly is what brought me here because somewhere in between all of those weird jobs and odd hours, I made the time to also make YouTube videos. Side lesson, if anyone ever tells you they're too busy for you, no. You can make time for whatever it is you want to make time for. I truly believe that. You know, if I can make YouTube videos during the most chaotic, depressing time of my life, he can, you know, FaceTime you for five minutes after work. It's called priorities. Anyways, you know, you guys kind of know the story. The broke bitch tips took off and, uh, you know, it's no secret that I'm not a broke bitch anymore. And it's not because of a sugar daddy. It's because of three reasons. One, a lot of luck. Thank you so much for subscribing. I'm gonna hit 10K soon, so hit the subscribe button. I'm so excited. <laughs> guys, I'm literally... 
I'm literally crying. Thank you. This is my dream. Two. A lot, a lot, a lot of hard work. What's up? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. It's Amber. It's Amber. It's Amber. It's Amber. It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. And three, because of you. I love Amber. Oh, stop. You're so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Nothing lights me up inside more than meeting you guys. You are the absolute sunshine of my life, and I hope you know that. You know, I honestly say this all the time, but like I truly would not be here making these videos if it wasn't for you guys supporting me. And you know, I always say I don't want to cry in these videos, but like I genuinely don't know what would have happened to me if um, if I, if this didn't work. YouTube was truly like my last ditch effort to like survive and you know, to not um, basically to like wanna keep going. And um, I will never be able to thank you guys enough for all of that. <sighs> oh, oh God, okay. Anyways, uh, okay actually learning a lot about myself through making these videos based on kind of what you guys say in the comments and uh a i realized that i apologize a lot for crying so sorry about that oh god now i'm gonna <laughs> ah, did anyone else catch the irony in that now i'm gonna apologize for apologizing about crying oh god that's gonna make me cry again i don't know oh my god what is wrong with me ah, pull it together oh wow i don't even have hair i forgot <laughs> you guys like my wig side note i didn't really get a haircut i just thought this was fun for this video <laughs> anyways okay <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. What was I saying? I've been learning a lot about myself through these videos and something a lot of you guys said in the lottery video was, you know, I kept saying I was winning the lottery and so many people said, Amber, you didn't win the lottery. This was all of your hard work paying off. And I actually never really thought of it that way because, you know, I always do just think I am the luckiest girl in the world to get to make these videos and I'm the luckiest girl in the world to have such a cool platform to do, oh my God, everything I ever dreamed about. Like, I honestly don't know what I would have said to myself, you know, five years ago, if I could just show her even a clip of this video. I mean, you know, she would have been so proud of me. And that's so cool. You know, being proud of yourself really hits different. And uh, I am really, really proud. Wow, work. My makeup is literally still perfect. Great setting spray. Okay. Ugh. I use humor to deal with pain. Okay. <sighs> You know, something I wrote down the other day was like, I feel like I really did believe in my daydream so much that, you know, one day I woke up in one. And uh, aside of my big irrational fear of a shark eating me in a swimming pool, um, I worry a lot that I'm just gonna wake up one day and it's all gonna be gone. But honestly, even if I did wake up tomorrow and everything was taken away, I've said this before, but the whole experience really brought me the belief in my dreams back and everything else. So I think uh, no matter what happens, I'd be able to pick myself up again because I have that. And I think that that is what's gonna carry me through and what carries anyone through any hard times is, you know, faith. Not a little bit, but a lot of bit of faith. And uh, I think if you have that, you can do anything. Okay, I need to calm down to film the rest of this video. Okay. <sighs> if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love posting sunrises and sunsets and moons and stars and everything on my story. I often tag the timestamp and a lot of you guys always ask like, how are you up at 5 a.m. and how are you also up at 3 a.m.? And the answer is literally, I do have a wacko sleep schedule. Because you know, honestly, I think, um, oh God, I'm gonna cry again. Here we go. <laughs> Honestly, I used to not want to be awake at all. And, and honestly, now I like don't want to go to bed. <laughs> like, the reality of my daydreams have pretty much blended together. So, you know, sometimes I stay up all night just because I get to live in it. Because, you know, I don't want to miss a second of it. Yeah. So anyways, back to the sugar daddy theme of this video. Um, people always ask how I make money. How do I travel the world? How do I shop all the time? You want to know? I'll tell you. Being a YouTuber is my full-time job. I make money from the ads on my videos. So I post a video, you guys watch it, those little ads that you see in the beginning. Uh, please watch them. <laughs> I don't know what the actual ratio is. It's not that much. I think it's like a penny of you. But you know, when you got millions of views a month, it adds up. The other way I make money, obviously, is through sponsored videos. Whenever I say shout out to blah 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 for sponsoring this video, that means they quite literally sponsored it. I saw the funniest tweet about this the other day. Sorry it's a little PG-13, but I was like dying laughing about this. Um, yeah, it's true. I also have the weekly Zoom calls I do on Sundays after these videos. That's really just like a passion project. That's just for fun. But you know, that is like five bucks a month or whatever it is. And now I also make money from the jewelry line, um, which I literally completely own 100% of. I design everything, pick everything out myself, ship it all out myself. It is truly 100% me owned and operated. Full CEO status. Look at my LLC as it should be. I feel like Taylor Swift on her albums. All me, baby. And those three things are what fund my life. 
So just to be very, very clear, no man and no sugar daddies involved. No, I do not have a sugar daddy. Everything I have now, I either quite literally built with my own two hands or built with my daydreams. I bought myself that car. I paid for that vacation. The first diamonds I ever bought, I bought them for myself. Mm. Bought diamond rings for six of my bitches. Except mostly they were all for me. <laughs> People weirdly call me a gold digger online a lot, which doesn't really make much sense to me because A, it's like, who have I ever dated ever in my life? Like, if I've ever had a boyfriend, please do tell me who it was. I would love to reach back out to them and rekindle our romance. But um, yeah, you know, just because a woman has nice things doesn't mean a man is giving it to her. Like, it's 2021, come on. Quite frankly, I have no interest in men's money literally at all. I have plenty of my own, thanks. I'm looking for love. Haven't you heard enough stories about me dating waiters to know that's not what I'm interested in? <laughs> As the iconic share said, I am a rich man. This is kind of off topic a little, but one of the most important questions I think I've ever asked myself was something me and my friends came up with at like 3 a.m. one night, and that was the idea of what are the three words that you want to describe your life? My friends came up with words like electric and golden and immeasurable worth, and I thought about this question for a few days before coming up with my answer, and to be honest, I think my answer is only one word, beautiful. Sounds superficial and silly, like of course I do want to have beautiful things and a beautiful home and beautiful stuff, but beautiful is so much more encompassing than that. You know, I'm talking about the deeper meaning of beautiful. I want to have beautiful relationships and make a beautiful big difference in the world and, you know, leave behind a beautiful legacy. And at the end of my life, I want to look back and think, you know, God, that was so beautiful. And, you know, I hope the world someday looks back on my life and thinks it was beautiful too. One of my favorite things in the world is things coming full circle. And you know, I started making YouTube videos to help make other girls like me live a better life and show them the hacks that I had, you know, to make myself feel a little better even when everything else wasn't going well. And my channel was truly, truly, truly dedicated to that. And you know, while it's definitely morphed over the years into different things, at the end of it all, it has come back to that. And that's really what this series is about. You staying true to the original vision of why I started YouTube in the first place, which, you know, was to share my story and make a difference. And that's pretty full circle to me and on an even deeper level. What really started out as me making videos to help you ended up helping me. And you guys watching gives me more love and light than anything else in the world. And that means so much more to me than any amount of money could have ever bought. And I honestly hope that in another weird full circle kind of moment, I think of myself a little bit as a, your sugar daddy too. It's so fun to give you guys, you know, DIY project ideas and costume ideas and, you know, home decor and fashion and whatever it else it is that I get to share on here. But, you know, on the deeper end of sugar daddying, you know, I hope through my videos I can give you guys the belief in your own dreams and self-confidence and worth and, you know, everything that I truly value. I really, truly do hope that that's what you get from all my videos because that's really the meaning of all of them. You know, to help you live your best life of everything you want and deserve. That's my sugar daddy mission. The point of this video was to just clear things up once and for all, but more than anything, it's to remind you that you can do it too. All on your own. As a wise girl once said, you know, you only really need one person to believe in your dreams, and that's you. I always reference Disney Channel and pop stars in these videos, but you know, like Miley Cyrus said, it truly is the climb. I wouldn't change anything that brought me to where I am today because that just makes the end so much sweeter. And you know, while I did find the quote paw of gold at the end of the rainbow, um, Oh my God, you know, the rainbow before it was honestly the best part. Which honestly was the symbolism behind, you know, the rainbow collection that I'm wearing. It sounds so cheesy, but I am a giant cheese ball. So, you know, everything is like the full circle of rainbow set in the gold, cause the pot of gold and the rainbow together. <gasps> Shout out to myself for sponsoring my own video. No. <laughs> On a deeper level, you know, that really is the whole point of everything is appreciate all of it, where you came from, where you're going and where you are. The first page and the last page are important, but the pages in between are the so, your homework. Buy yourself something that you want for no reason. Isn't that just the best homework you ever heard? God, I would have loved to hear that in high school. But um, jokes aside, I'm actually being serious. It can be a diamond ring, a new pair of shoes, or literally a pack of gum from the gas station. Whatever it is, get up and treat yourself to something. As a reminder that you deserve what you want in life and that you can and should go get it. <sighs> so, the truth about my sugar daddy. It's all of you and me. And I am so damn proud of that. Like Penny Proud once said, I'm cute and I'm loud and I got it going on. You know, speaking of the Proud family, um, A, excellent show, B, one of the lines in there and a very famous line in general is that success means nothing if you have no one to share it with. And uh, I'm so, so, so lucky because, you know, I do have my friends and my family to share it with, but uh, you know, I also have you. To everyone who was there from the very beginning. One dollar in the bank, but I look freaking awesome. And to everyone who's brand new today, thanks for watching. Whatever your million dollar idea is, go do it. Be your own sugar daddy. All my love and then some.
<laughs> Making thumbnails is so embarrassing. Thank God I'm just sitting alone in my house and no one's ever gonna see this.